please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government on MEC scholarships 2019. There are two mathematics exams, one for social sciences mathematics A and another for natural sciences mathematics B. This problem is from the 2019 mathematics B questionnaire. The answer key and the original questions are linked in the description. Problem 6 of 1. By log of 2 to the base 10 approximately equals 0 0.3010 and log of 3 to the base 10 approximately equals 0 0.4771, the number of digits in 6 to the 100th is blank and its leading digit is blank. We will use this relationship between the arithmetic mean and the geometric mean. The arithmetic mean of two positive numbers A and B is the average of those numbers. The geometric mean is the square root of their product. It is known that the geometric mean is always less than or equal the arithmetic mean. Here we write the things we know from the problem. We know this from the problem. We know this from the problem. From these two facts, we can say that the log of 6 to the base 10 is equal to this. Because 6 is the product of 2 and 3, the log of 6 is just the sum of their logarithms. And this equation or approximation can also be written in this way. Here we have 10 raised to this, which is approximately equal to this. We are interested in the number 6 to the 100th. Let x equal this number. If we get the logarithm of this, then we get this. We know that we can take out the exponent here and bring it here. Now, we need to find this, but we already have that value here. And so, we can substitute this here to obtain this value. Now we know that the log of x to the base 10 is this number. We can rewrite this in exponential form. 10 raised to this number equals x. We can also separate the exponent into the part with the integer and the part with the decimal. So this is now our expression for x. We are interested in knowing the number of digits in x. That is the same as the number of digits in this number. First we'll look at the first factor here. This number has 77 zeros after a 1 and therefore it has 78 digits. This number must be less than 10 because the exponent is less than 1. And we also know that because of that, this number must only have one leading digit that is before the decimal point. And if we multiply that number with this number here, we know that the result will still be 78 digits and the first number here or the leading or the leading digit here is the same as the first digit here which is the number before the decimal point so for these two facts we know that the number of digits for x is 78 then we are concerned with the leading digit of x we have already said that the leading digit of x is the same as the first digit of this number, 10 to the 81, or rather 0.81. So we just need to find the first digit of this number. Before we go and do that, let us write down what we know about 6, 2, and 3. We can express them using these approximations using the base of 10. These again were from the given. Now, let us define y to be the number that we are interested in. Here, 
we notice that the exponent here is less than the exponent here. So we conclude that 6 must be less than y. And therefore, the only possible leading digits for y could only be either 6, 7, 8, or 9. So let us now look at what we can say about 9, 8, and 7. Here, we know more about 8 and 9, so let's look at them first. We know that 8 is the cube of 2, and 9 is the square of 3. Let us express them in terms of base 10. We use what we were given in the problem. So 2 can be expressed this way from the given, and 3 this way. We just simplify them, we obtain these. If we look at the exponent for this, and this, we see that they are both greater than this. And so, we can say that y is less than 8. And from here, 6 is less than y. Now that we have this inequality, we can be sure that the only possible leading digits for y are 7 or 6 not even 8, because it has to be less than 8. Now we just have to choose between 6 and 7. To do this, let us apply what we know about geometric and arithmetic means. First, let us recall this relationship that the geometric mean must always be smaller than the arithmetic mean. Now, let us get the geometric mean and the arithmetic mean of 6 and 8. Let A be 6 and B be 8. First is the geometric mean. We replace A with the approximation here and B with this approximation. If we get the product, we get this. And if we get the square root of that, this is what we obtain. Now let's look at the arithmetic mean. That is just the average of 6 and 8, the middle number, which we know to be 7. Or if we use the formula, we still get 7. We know that the geometric mean is always less than or equal the arithmetic mean. Therefore, this number must be less than or equal to this number, or this inequality holds. Now. We can look at the exponent here and the exponent here. It says that y must be less than this number because the exponent here is less than this number. So if y is less than this number and this number is less than or equal to 7, then y is less than 7. And we also know that 6 is less than y. So we obtain this inequality. Now we can be sure that y is between 6 and 7. And therefore, the first digit of y should be 6. And thus, the first digit of 6 to the 100 is also 6. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya!